So um, I think I may have mentioned um, I'm a semiconductor engineer. That's all I've ever done. I sold it to Intel um, back in 2010. I was a senior director there, but you know, it's a big company. I'm like, man, this, I, I got to do something new. Um, and Iron Man 2 had uh, come out. <laughs> uh, and there's uh, Tony Stark in the middle of his lab. And he, you know, he's scanning his father's expo and he's manipulating the data digitally. And I'm like, man, that looks awesome. I want to see if I can do that because uh, at that time I was rebuilding uh, a Jeep with my daughter and we were looking at uh, rebuilding a, a Subaru WRX with my son. And there's so many complex parts that goes into these cars. Heck, anything is supposed to work. And if you could just sort of see it, then maybe you'd understand it. And uh, so I picked up a book up, uh, by a couple of MIT Media Lab professors and they basically said, look, holography isn't that hard. You just need to make billions and billions of rays of light, but importantly, control them all. Uh, and then I thought, well, hold on. That's what my whole job used to be. We made chips for optical telecom. We were the last electronic stage before light went out on the fiber. So we're like, okay, let's give it a rip. And so for the last 10 years, we've been making world's best holographic displays. And it's just as 